Women for Cities. Five women share their work on sustainable urban development, building cities for all, implementing the global goals locally, leaving no one behind. What are your greatest achievements during your time as mayor? My profession is a town planner, mm -hmm. and I'm not a politician. Okay. I'm a professional. And, um, before I became the mayor mm -hmm. of the uh, municipal council of Sperang Prai in Penang, Malaysia, mm -hmm. I was a head of the planning department. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I was uh, given the task to be a mayor of this Sperang Prai for six years, three months, mm -hmm. and after that, as a, a mayor of the Penang Island mm -hmm. for just six months before I came here as an ED. I have the opportunity to be in both. Right. in both local government mm -hmm. and during my, my six and a half years uh, in, in, uh, in the municipal council of Sperang Prai, I was given the task at that time the Sperang Prai municipal council was a very very low in terms of financial municipal finance mm -hmm. and uh, the reason why uh, there was a lot of areas that the uh, the stakeholders uh, didn't pay for the, uh, uh, the we call it in Malaysia assessment or property tax right. to the cities mm -hmm. because uh, I was told that they are really really uh, have the uh, uh, not satisfied with the services given by the uh, city council okay. to the to the stakeholders to the ratepayers. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I, f I think that uh, one of my achievements in, in the city is that I managed to bring back the confidence of the stakeholders uh, to pay their areas, to pay their assessment uh, in order for us to give back the uh, good services to them. And this one through the uh, good governance. Uh, we, we are practicing, uh, practicing the competency, mm -hmm. uh, accountability, uh, transparency, uh, and uh, effectiveness and efficiency of doing things. Mm -hmm. What is gender responsive participatory budgeting? I introduced in 2012 mm -hmm. the gender responsive participatory budgeting. Right, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. that, that mm -hmm. Benign City is the first uh, local authority that practice or implement this gender responsive participatory budgeting. What effects could you see of the gender budgeting? We did this gender responsive policy budgeting is that putting back what or asking back the, 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 the city's uh, uh, dwellers or the rate payers, we collected roughly around 160 million uh, uh, ringgit Malaysia, not US, eh, ringgit Malaysia mm. from them. And we asked them back what do you want us to do with your money? Mm -hmm. Where are the priorities? Not, not, not the mayor's priorities, the, the, the stakeholders and the ratepayers' priorities. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the past, uh, uh, from I started it in 2012. Mm -hmm. I took over as a mayor 2011, 16 of 2011. I started doing that for my budget, city budget 2012. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first thing that we did that we, we asked them to grade us what your satisfactory level mm -hmm. for the city services. Mm -hmm. At that time, in 2010, I've only achieved 64%. Mm -hmm. Then wow. well above 50%, but mm -hmm. it's only 64%. Mm -hmm. But by the time that I did this regularly, when I did the city budget, mm -hmm. by the time that I had for the uh, gender responsive budget budgeting for preparing the 2018 budget, mm -hmm. the percentage increased to 92% of mm -hmm. level of satisfaction. Which areas are prioritized by the citizens? Mm. All, all the years that we ask is the top one is the cleanliness. Mm. First is cleanliness, yeah. seven branches. Then second was the infrastructure. Mm. Third was the uh, uh, flooding, because we have the flooding. Mm. Right. Uh, and fourth is the safety and mobility. Mm. Safety is for everybody. Safety for child, safety for men, women, and yeah. for the people. Mm. And uh, fifth is greenery. Okay. We want to have mm. the green. Green here is not only in plants, but also in green building, mm. low emission, low carbon emissions, and all that. Mm. 
and six is enforcement, law enforcement, law and order, mm, mm. and seven was community engagement. So almost every year from 2011 to 2018, these are the things that been 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 uh, uh, brought up as a priority. So this is like institutionalizing the gender perspective in the city, right. that putting back the confidence mm. of the uh, uh, of the uh, of these rate payers into the city. Mm. And then at the same time, apart from institutionalizing the gender perspective, in not only in budgeting, mm -hmm. but only in everything. Mm -hmm. Whatever we do, let's say for the planning, for the project, we also include in the gender perspective. Mm -hmm. The gender responsive participatory planning, GRPP we call it. Right. GRPP for budgeting, GRPP for, for, for uh, planning. What role does the public play in successful urban planning? I believe in public participation mm. because we don't know everything. Mm. We don't know all. So from that day onward, I started the gender responsive participatory planning. Mm -hmm. mm. So putting in the, the, the stakeholders engagement mm. and have them the buy-in. And this is also reduced in terms of the maintenance. Right. Because they are being asked and they, they, they feel that they are important so they maintain. Because in many cities, municipal finance is, the, is a challenge. Mm. Uh, so we would like to increase revenue mm. and reduce cost of doing business mm. without sacrificing the quality of the services. Mm. So by having the, 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 the uh, involvement of the community, mm -hmm. it also reduces the, the cost of doing business. Mm. What lessons learned and recommendations can you share? Uh, I used to, to, to preach to my people saying that think local. Yes. I used to act local. Mm. Why think local? We must know the importance of the issues of our cities. Mm. Then we act global, we go out there and look for the best practices right. and come back. Mm -hmm. And then when you learn global, mm -hmm. then you have to apply local. Come back and apply it to our city. Mm -hmm. So I use this mantra, mm. think local, act global, mm. learn global and apply local. The main thing is learn giving back the confidence of the community, of the repayers, into the city. Mm. I think that is one of the, to me, that satisfying. Mm. I don't know whether it's, it's a, the, the, the main uh, 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 success, but mm -hmm. I feel satisfied. What are the four P's? Public, private, people, partnerships. We have no money in the city. Mm. Then we get back the confidence of the repayers to pay their areas. Okay, they pay. But still, in my city, I have nearly 1,000 plus public spaces. Mm -hmm. I have 3,000 plus lightings to pay. Mm -hmm. and, and, and hundreds of kilometers of road to, 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 to maintain and, mm -hmm. and, and many public facilities to, to, to upgrade and so to maintain. Mm -hmm. And we have no money. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've spoken to the many uh, private communities mm -hmm. and in, in Penang and actually I found out that all this private sector, mm -hmm. actually they have a fund mm -hmm. for corporate social responsibility mm -hmm. or now they call it corporate environmental responsibility. Mm -hmm. And more often than not at that time, they normally use this money for old folks' home mm -hmm. and the orphanage. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the poor also home and orphanage, so many people going there. So I approached this community saying that I have this idea. Why not that you take up one of my public public park mm -hmm. or public we, we, as we have the, 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 the inventory of all the parks. That is the first example. All the parks, then we say that these are all the parks, they need the maintenance. Mm. Can you help us? Then, then we come up with a, come up with a formula. Mm -hmm. Okay, all the strategic places we give them the advertising right, mm -hmm. but the, the 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 design and also the the, the uh, of the advertisement have to be approved by us, mm -hmm. and we did it very transparent. They submit, they submit the, the they submit to come to us. They submit the design, we approve in our uh, the full council, and they implement it. They didn't give us any money. They implement it, and they, they take care of this public space for five years. Mm -hmm. And some of them even ask for extension. Mm -hmm. So when they take care for five years, mm -hmm. I don't have to take care. Mm -hmm. So meaning that I reduce cost of doing business. Mm -hmm. At the same time, many of these public spaces improve tremendously. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that is one of public uh, private people partnership. Mm -hmm. And the why they come in previously, we just public private. 
we do involve, involve the people. Mm -hmm. So one of the main project that when we did, the people don't like it. Mm. They said that is the design is not good. That they shouldn't use this, this, this. Uh, they shouldn't be lo located here. So the second stage, we put another pin, mm. the people, mm. because when we involve the people, they actually design, help us to design the the the, the, the public spaces. For as an example, mm. even a community hall, they help us to design. Then when they are involved. Then when then I include it in the four piece also gender perspective mm -hmm. because we would like to have a universal design mm -hmm. and and sometimes when when in, in in my city when we talk about gender it's still very sensitive yeah mm -hmm. but we we when we put in the gender perspective mm -hmm. we include it into technical universal design mm -hmm. meaning that if it's good for the pregnant lady that is good for everybody mm -hmm. it's good for, for for the old old old, old woman it's mm -hmm. good for everybody so we include in it a bit technical mm -hmm. like like universal design green building mm -hmm. but actually it's also the gender element and mm -hmm. also one thing that at that time when through this this uh, uh, engagement mm -hmm. is very one policy that we did that toilet mm -hmm. last time let's say always a long queue in front of the ladies toilet mm -hmm. but not men mm -hmm. and then we realized that when we count the number of toilets mm -hmm. the toilet uh, uh, cubicle men they have a cubicle mm -hmm. and plus the toilet yeah. meaning that three cubicle three toilet meaning right. that is six Whereas for ladies only three, because right. the previous guideline we didn't include cubicle for men mm -hmm. as a toilet, mm -hmm. and now if if men three toilet, three cub cubicle, the woman should be eight, mm. six to eight. So we come up with the policy, mm. come up with the guideline, mm -hmm. and we 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 have the Penang Women Development Corporation mm. uh, uh, to to look into the gender policy. Mm. So this policy is uh, really looking into the to bring in the private sector mm -hmm. to help the city to manage the city and also help us to maintain at the same time they are also actually they are also interested mm -hmm. because they also like to invest mm -hmm. because when the city is clean when the city is green and, and, and safe through the investment coming in what is the most important when cities implement the SDGs the, the most important thing is that uh, we have to go from developer-led development to mm -hmm. plan-led development, mm -hmm. meaning that it's, it's a planned urbanization. So how to do this, we we are in, 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 in UN Habitat are encouraging the cities to have the integrated, holistic, sustainable development plan or policy. Mm. Don't do it ad hoc, mm. because when you do ad hoc planning, then you wouldn't really solve, mm. the, or, or solve the source of the challenges, or solve mm. the problem. So for the growing cities, or even also for the some developed cities, we need the integrated, integrated holistic sustainable development plan or policy. Mm. But and this plan have to be translated to the local government mm. and to to, to 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 look it into like a, translate it into an action plan. Right. If mm. not action oriented, then it will become a plan. Right. Just, mm. just a thick book that is mm. implemented. So, mm. so to me, in order to get the 2030 agenda, mm. it's a, it's, it's a very tall order. Uh, it's 175 commitments in that city, and mm. to achieve the 17 sustainable development goal, mm. we have to all of us, either as at the national government or regional mm. government, or even the UN agencies or the NGOs or the private sector, mm. we have to work as a team. When we we, if urbanization happen without a plan, mm. that is the start of the problem. Mm. Sometimes they had a pro, urban sprawl. We mm. have the, uh, we have the, uh, what we call it, uh, informal sectors. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and sometimes it turn into slum. Mm. So we have to look into this. And, and at the end of the day, we we also have to uh, uh, involve in doing that in, in doing the development policy plan. We have to involve every level. Mm. From the national level and the political, because mm. I believe in that uh, top down, mm -hmm. bottom up, mm. and and convergence of ideas mm. at the at the middle, so that we can we can get a, a it's not only a good plan, mm. a good policy, but good and implementable mm. uh, policy mm. that is and workable. That is very important. We are in the habitat encourages 
the cities or the, the national government to come up with this plan mm. and we are in the end we are we have the expertise mm. we have the the the, uh, uh, the knowledge to assist and to 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 help uh, the cities and also the national and regional government mm. to, uh, come up with this plan mm. yeah.